Hello guys, welcome to PyLenin. Today we are going to discuss a common software developer interview question called the FISBUS problem. Now the FISBUS problem is used by many companies during their interview process to test their candidates. It's a great way to see how the candidates are navigating through the problem under pressure. So today we are going to discuss what the FISBUS problem is and then a common mistake that possibly people could make and also two different solutions to the problem which I think are really great way to solve them. So let's discuss the FISBUS problem. Here you can see I have dis described what the FISBUS problem is. So basically we have to print out the numbers from 1 to 100 with the following conditions. If the number is divisible by 3, print FIS. If the number is divisible by 5, print BUS. If the number is divisible by both 3 and 5, print FISBUS else just print the number. So basically the expected output is supposed to be like this 1, 2, FIS, 4, BUS, FIS, 7, 8, FIS, BUS, 11, FIS, 14, FIS, BUS, right? So 1 to 15 and then so on until 100. So this is basically the FIS, BUS problem. So let's talk about a common mistake that people could usually make, you know, because they are under pressure during the interviews and it could happen. So usually when you are given this FISBUS problem, people usually think like this. So they say for I in range 1 to 101, 1 to 101, range 1 to 101 is basically going to return a list from 1 to 100. 101 is not included. I have explained this to you before in my other tutorials. So for I in range 1 to 101, if I percentage 3 equal to equal to 0 basically if i divided by 3 has a remainder 0 print face elif i percentage 5 equal to equal to 0 print bus elif i percentage 3 equal to equal to 0 and i percentage 5 equal to equal to 0 print fizzbus else print i so usually this this would be your first instinct right how to solve this because in the fizzbus text also it says if the number is divisible by 3 print phase if the number is divisible by 5 print buzz if the number is divisible by 3 and 5 print fizzbus and this would be your first instinct, right? You go by the order 1, 2, 3, 4. And then when you print this, you run this code, you see, okay, 1, 2, 3 is face, 4, 5 is buzz, 6 is face, cool. 7, 8, 9, 10, buzz, 11, 12, 13, 14. But look at this. What is going on with this 15? 15 is divisible by 5, 15 is divisible by 3. Yet it is only showing face. So what happens here is, your initial instinct is mostly correct but on this case on the third case it fails because when the number 15 from here enters the for loop python first checks here if it is divisible by 3 and it is so it directly prints face it doesn't go to the elif uh, the two elif and then the else loop right so it f uh, it takes 15 into the loop first checks that okay it is divisible by 3 remainder remainder is 0 and it just prints out phase it doesn't go uh, after that so this is the problem uh, that usually happens when you're trying to solve this physics problem let's go ahead and discuss how we can correct this now if i go back to my physics text description i can see if the number i can see the description here my thought is what if i start from the opposite right so what if I start from the third clause basically because see if the number is divisible I can first check if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 then I can directly print FISBUS so every time I first check if both the numbers are divisible then I check the individual numbers after that will this work let's check it out so here instead of just saying if I percentage 3 equal to equal to 0 I can ju just put this thing also there and here I say print FISBUS then elif i percentage 5 equal to equal, equal, 0 print bus elif i percentage 
थ्री इक्वल टू इक्वल टू जीरो प्रिंट ओनली फेस एल्स प्रिंट आई लेट्स जस्ट चेक आउट इफ दिस थिंग इज वर्किंग सो इफ आई रन दिस वन टू थ्री इज फेस फोर फाइव इज बस सिक्स इज फेस सेवन एट नाइन इज फेस टेन इज बस इलेवन ट्वेल्व इज फेस थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन इज फेस बस सो गाइज दिस कोड इज वर्किंग basically when you are under pressure during interview try to think both ways right don't try to think in just one way your first instinct would be almost correct but not completely correct so now when we reverse the order of uh, uh, analyzing our numbers in the for loop we are getting the exact right output and we can keep continuing checking and the output is going to be right 16 17 18 is phase 19 20 20 is buzz Uh, let's just check another number which is divisible by both five and three. Thirty, so thirty is fizzbuzz. So guys, this is one way of how to solve a problem, uh, uh, the fizzbuzz problem. So guys, let's talk about the second solution. Sometimes what happens is that interviewers like to play with you. They like to test you in different ways. I was reading this Facebook post. Uh, this guy was talking about a fizzbuzz problem. and he said to, uh, uh, and he was describing that the interview asked him to only use one print, print statement through the entire code so basically he can only use one print statement now i'm going to show you how we can just use one print statement to print the entire thing from 1 to 100 uh, without any extra effort so here instead of printing uh, four times we just have to print once right so inside the for loop what i can say is i can de describe something as i can declare a variable called text and i can assign it an empty string right so what i can do is every time i divide uh, in, uh, in the first if uh, condition if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 i can say text plus equal to now this is assignment operator if you don't know what assignment operators are go back to my tutorials on assignment operator comparison and assignment operators and then come back this is very easy to understand so if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 i can just say text plus equal to fizzbuzz so basically this is going to be added to the text so text will become fizzbuzz right if the number is only divisible by 5 i can say text plus equal to buzz right because that's what we want to print and if the number is only divisible by 3 i can say text plus equal to fizz now at the end i can say else text plus equal to string i now let me explain you what i did so i created a variable inside the for loop called text and i assigned it an empty operator it's basically empty so now what i'm going to do is every time i check whether my numbers are divisible by 3 and 5 then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add or i'm going to add a fizzbuzz to that text so it's an empty string when i add fizzbuzz it becomes fizzbuzz if it is only divisible by 5 i add buzz to the string it's an empty string so it becomes buzz if uh, it is divisible only by 3 then i add fizz to the string and the text variable becomes fizz else if none of these conditions hold then what i'm going to say is i'm going to add the string the string uh, format of the number so basically convert the number to string because text is a string type right we assigned a string type here so i cannot just say text plus equal to i i have to say text plus equal to string i right i'll just uh, assign the string format of the number to text and then here i can say after the else i can say print text right so let's go ahead and check what happens if i run this we have only used one print so as you can see again this output is giving us the required uh, kind of output that we want so 1 2 3 is face 4 5 is buzz 6 is face 7 8 9 is face 10 is buzz 11 12 is fizz 13 14 15 is fizz buzz so we have just used one print statement in our entire for loop and it still works so these are the two different ways in which you can solve fizz buzz problem 
Now a lot of programmers would have different ways to solve the same problem. There is a concept called stock programming where a developer can easily bring down the 10 lines of code that we wrote into just one or two. Now all those practices are really good. However, it all depends on what you are really comfortable with. My suggestion would be if you are in the beginner's phase, focus more on getting the basics right. Focus more on thinking about different ways to solve the same problem in different ways. Worry about thinking about a quality solution. Writing quality code will follow with practice. Thank you guys for watching this software developer question and answer session. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. If there are some other developer interview questions that you are aware of and you want me to discuss in my channel, post them in the comment section below and I'll definitely get back to them. See you in the next tutorial.